Hi Brendan, my name is Danny Ellis, I live in Melton and I want to speak to you today about the Trans-Pacific Partnership. I believe Investor State Dispute Settlement, UGSU, it allows private companies to, to sue governments when they change laws that benefit the people of Australia. And I cannot believe that Andrew Robb is not speaking about the TPP at all in the media or to anybody. It's like a secret society that these uh, Pacific nations want to uh, put together. My analogy I want to give you is that if I'm employed by Philip Morris, who at present are suing the Australian government for playing packaging of cigarettes because it's going to affect their profit line, now, if Philip Morris employed me, do a restructure, and I lose my job, I've got no comeback on Philip Morris. I've got to just go out and find another job or find another way of earning my money. So, if that applies to me, why cannot it apply to Philip Morris or any other multinational or company that wants to be a part of the TPP? My question is to you, is Labor going to keep their ideal on what their previous Labor government did and not introduce ISDS into any trade agreement now or into the future? I believe that the ISDS is like a cancer. The multinationals and the rich of this world are just finding more ways of influencing governments and keeping the people of this country downtrodden. So hopefully you see this video as an endorsement of what Labor want to do and that is I hope to keep the ISDS out of anything that comes into Australia. Also I've been reading lately online that the US has been going to court with the ISDS, especially in Canada. They've, uh, I think they've, the US haven't lost a case, whereas Canada has lost about 20. And this is real concern because, again, it's all about companies protecting their profits, and there's nothing wrong with that. But the Canadians passed a law to ban a particular petrol additive. And it, was, it wasn't healthy to, for humans to be around. Yet, this US company won the case. The Canadian government had to pay compensation. But also, they had to print an apology and also state that it wasn't harmful. How can we allow this to happen? It would be like saying that DDD is safe to use because the company has sued the Australian government and, we, and they have to publish that it's safe to use. Yet we all know it's not. Ridiculous. That's another reason to keep the ISDS right out. Do not go there and apply pressure to the Abbott government to come clean with what's coming in the TPP. Thank you for your time, Brendan, and I hope you can use this video for myself and the people of Australia.